All right, well, here we are back in the Cherokee. Um, now that everything's running for the most part, I can finally drive it and figure out what kind of drive issues I'm having. But uh, right now, since I deleted my mechanical fan um, because the, uh, the bearing kind of just seized, uh, right now I'm, I'm relying completely on the electric fan to keep me cool. And um, it was it was actually really good in the winter. This thing never got up the temperature to begin with, so I didn't really care about cooling. But now that it's summertime, if this idles for a while or you're sitting in a red light for a long time, it will start to creep up past 210. And actually, uh, when I found out my fan wasn't working, I looked at the temperature gauge and noticed it was like almost a T60. I'm like, oh, great, that's that's awesome. Let me just drive this as fast as I possibly can to get the radiator to cool it down. So. I swapped the relay over because I figured that the relay might have been the issue after checking that everything was still plugged in because I unplug them from time to time to work on stuff. But the um, the switch was plugged in, the fan was plugged in, I didn't have any wire to jump the fan. So um, I figured, okay, relays are pretty common. That's one of the ones I didn't really replace. Uh, so I just picked up a, uh, a stock um, generic uh, relay. This one's got five pins. It's got the 85 and 86 for the uh, the coil, and then uh, 30 and 87, and also an 87A. And there's the the diagram for it. There you go. Pretty generic relay. This one doesn't use the center pin for 87A, so that's doesn't really matter. I just picked up a fuel pump relay because that's all I knew how to tell them to grab. But if you look down here. Uh, you'll notice that uh, that green looking wire right here is uh, completely disintegrated. That is my uh, my main ground wire for the uh, the switched power, which I think is 86. Yeah, 86. So if you were to take a wire terminal and jump from uh, 30 to 87, the uh, the electric fan comes on. So the fan works up. The uh, the connections are good for all that. So my problem is with my relay uh, harness. So if you look, this this doesn't look all that great. It looks like it's kind of melted. It's all like really shitty. It doesn't look that good at all. And uh, if you'll notice, there's no um, there's no in insulation on this ground wire down the uh, this wire harness. If you go underneath this loom, which is really hard to get you in there, um, there's still there's no insulation for uh, a good couple of inches. So, uh, I don't know. I'll have to uh, open up this loom and uh, trace that ground wire back or just fuck it and make a separate ground wire, but I'm wondering if the, uh, the wires are heating up or something. Okay, so here we are in the daytime. Here's our whole fan uh, connector relay right here. So I've traced back all the wires. I've opened up this whole mess of a wiring harness. And, uh, I don't know, I'm still not sure what to conclude here. I think the wires were old and overheated or shorted or something bad. Because this one's not looking too pretty. Now, later down in the harness, it looks fine. This insulation doesn't look melted or destroyed or anything, but you can see copper there. So I'm going to have to snip this back here. Put some new wire in. The, uh, the two positive wires look fine. They have melted insulation from the ground, but... They look okay. They both test. Um, they go where they should. And this ground was melted all the way back to the splice. So that's going to have to go. Um, let's see. Following the red-white wire right here, that one goes straight to the fan. That one has a good connection. So that one, when connected to the fan, does go to ground. Here's the fan ground right here. So this ground runs through the harness and into this ground point right here. So that, that tests good. So it's got a good ground. This, the supply signal, the orange one was a little messed up and so was the, uh, the relay ground. And then for you people that like the strange diagrams I make, this is uh, what I made right here. This is the connector from the top. So this would be facing just like this, not looking at the relay end, looking at the connector end. I've made that mistake before. You flip the relay over and now it's backwards. But yeah, the orange is the supply. Your 30 is your red positive. Um, your 87 is your red positive output for the fan, which then gets grounded. Then you have your relay ground. 87A is not used. So, anyway, to fix our issue, um, these wires are pretty fucking shot. And uh, I don't know if I feel like trying to pop the connectors out of there to reuse some old plastic and metal. So for $10, you can go to AutoZone or any local auto parts store and get yourself a lost connector. There we go. 
one of these motherfuckers. So this is a pretty generic, cheap little uh, relay socket right here. Comes with uh, colored wires, so you don't get for, uh, confused when they all come out where they need to go. So I'm gonna cut all these wires and splice that in there and uh, see if that cures our issue. Now, uh, after doing some electrical testing, I also noticed that for some reason, um, if I hook like my uh, my tester lead to the positive cable on the battery and then touch it to any of the grounds, I get a uh, a signal. So for some reason, like I can get a, a complete circuit from positive to ground. So I don't know if something is shorting out or something is running or if that's normal. I don't think that's normal. I don't think you should get continuity from a body ground to the positive cable on the battery. So I'm sure something is shorting out, which is why my battery goes dead after uh, like a little under a week. So I don't know. I'll have to look back into the wonderful wiring world of fucking XJs. <sighs> All right, now time for the clipping. Uh, I diagrammed out what the uh, the new connector was. I also swapped some of the connectors. This one used to be orange, and this one was blue. And I took the uh, I took the center one out because it won't be used, and then put the orange where the other orange would go. So just map your outputs to the correct uh, things that they go to. If you're trying to figure out how to do that. Um, you'll notice that the connector uh, has like a slot next to um, where the uh, the connector sits. At least a a couple of them do. There's like a hole. Stick like a pick in there or something, and there'll be a little tab that you flick up. It's this this tab right here. You just push that tab down, and you can pull it straight out. So took the blue one out and uh, rearranged some of the colors so that they fit a little nicer. I'm going to cut these to length so that they kind of sit uh, at the same length on the harness. This orange one I had to cut back pretty far, so I cut this red up so that the orange one is longer now. But anyway, yeah, solder them all up. Don't forget your heat shrink tubing. Make it look all pretty. There you have it. One connection down. Uh, I should mention that uh, obviously this is a live red wire. This is a hot at all times uh, positive wire. So uh, you should be safe and take the positive cable off your battery. Or, well, you should do that. <laughs> Unless you think you're good enough that none of your tools or nothing is going to ground out and short your battery. But just remember, these are live, so be uh, careful of what they touch and where they go. So that's one down. A couple more to go. Alright, so here's my new uh, finger dinger going on there. Got heat shrink tubing on all these guys. So they, uh, I, I cut them to different lengths so that they, for the most part, will sit in the, the loom about the same. And then the green one, I just ran a uh, one of these guys too. And I'm just going to hook it to this ground port right here, so I don't feel like messing around with duct tape slices and all that bullshit. I'll just do this the right way. So, and something cool, uh, now I can pull my, my black ground wire out. It, it had like a bend in it, so now I can pull that out and it's the same size as the red. It's not always under tension. So that's cool. So uh, I think it's time to uh, screw that ground in. And uh, I'll start the engine, turn the AC on, and see if this fan kicks on. And if that's the case, then uh, this new harness splice was a success. Let's clean up. Well, after dropping the relay and finding out it didn't work, I had to go pick up another one. So, here's a new fucking relay and new fucking harness. So, let's see if all that was worth it. Start this up. Okay, it runs. So currently it is off. So now let's go over here, flick the AC on. And there we go, working fan. Hooray. Woo! That's done how you don't do a dirty day. Okay. Well. I hope you learned something about uh, shitty AMC Chrysler wiring and uh, how relays work. So, oh, good luck with your uh, heap. Lovely. So, now my fan works again. Hooray! Yep, 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 yep. 
sweet. <laughs>